Okay, part 13 of Mistile. Back in the Sword Guild, aka a certain other level that I know. <laughs> but I I need to I I really need health. I'm I, I'm not gonna say that anymore. I'm I'm not gonna exaggerate it. I really do need more health. I also don't want to waste my bombs, but it's not really giving me much of a choice on the matter. Especially with many of these armos being freaking cheap shots. And seeing as how they always respawn... Uh, give me a freaking break game! That was a trick shot. But like I said, considering that the Armos don't drop anything, it doesn't really make this place reasonably easy. Especially when they do that! So we have basically four different places we can go to now, and, well, this looks intriguing. I wasn't expecting it to blow up that much. <laughs> Is this a... Deep in this forest, there is a centaur that was turned to stone many winters ago by a witch with long red hair. She had a sister whom it is said did not survive their quest and was buried in the maze. I believe there is a secret beneath the centaur, but you would need the witch's wand. It's... It's in the whiz robes realm, just to the right of here. You need a bright red flame to burn down the tree. Okay. Yep. I'm guessing that's what he meant by the whiz robes realm. Okay, so, let's see here. I have basically a few places I could go to right now. But, I really do lack the funds to get to a lot, to get to a lot of them. You know what? Go ahead. Tag me. Oh boy. So let's see. I need... I need 300 rupees to get the power bracelet to get into the Lionel sport. And then I'm gonna need, it, let's see, at least another 260 just to... Uh, you gotta be kidding me! Okay, look. I'm... I, I'm honestly not going to sugarcoat this anymore because... This is honestly starting to get a little bit ridiculous. I mean, I like this quest. I mean, it, it, it definitely has some very interesting and very intriguing thoughts put into it. And I also like the fact that one of the that one of the dungeons is basically a slight redesign of one of my own. I mean, that's you know, it shows that hey, you know, you got inspiration from my place, from my quest, I mean. But in all honesty, things are way too expensive. I mean, I could probably say understand the bow and arrow being at the prices they are. But a magic shield for 200 rupees, whenever you lose it, and maybe some of the other things. Might as well see what's across here at least. It just, I'm I'm sorry, they just you know, nothing's over there, not that I can get to. It's just kind of stupid, in all honesty, because. It's halting a lot of progress, and thus it's making me turn turn out these videos a lot slower than I would have actually wanted to. So, yeah, I mean... That's all I can really much say on the matter is that the items are just way too exp Some of the items are just way too expensive. I mean, even for, even for somebody who doesn't mind an occasional money grind like myself, I mean, even then, it's just, like, 
how do you expect people to have the patience to get through this? I mean, yeah, some people do have patience, myself included. But it's just... Okay, I'm honestly just rambling here. I should probably just get to the next area and just keep going. Let's hope that maybe the Red Knight Fortress will, uh... Will show a little bit of progress. Oh, a little bit more progress. And maybe by then I'll actually have the monetary funds to... Maybe get some of those items. So, back into the forest we go. Again. <laughs> like I said, don't get me wrong, I am still enjoying this quest very much, and... You know, like I said, I still owe it to you because, you know, various reasons, but... I'm seriously not going to... Sh I'm, I seriously want to say that you should honestly think about reducing the prices of some of the things in this game. Some, not all. I mean, I can understand maybe wanting to buy a heart container for 500 rupees. That's mainly just for the people that are just saying, Hey, you know, I don't mind grinding a little extra, so fine. I can do that. But the magic shield is definitely... That's definitely one thing that needs to be reduced. I mean, 200 rupees for a magic shield is... That's honestly asking for trouble. I mean, come on, even 160 in the original Legend of Zelda was kind of pushing it, but then, you know, you find that one that's worth 90, and that, in all honesty, is a bit more reasonable. So, yeah, I mean, that's... That is my main quarrel right now. I can understand being keys... That keys would need to be 200 rupees to get past, but... Yeah. But in any case, Red Knight Palace. Let's see what's in here. A lot of dark nuts, apparently, so... Alright. I do like the free bombs, though. The free bombs are very nice because, you know, it makes it so way, you know... It gives the person an ample need to explore some more. See, this is kind of the reason why I would, I would say that you need to cheapen the magic shield, because it's just honestly making... It's making things like this very, very tedious and nigh impossible. On the topic of things that should be, probably be cheaper, I'm thinking maybe the potions could be too. <sighs> there. This is pretty much kind of proving my point here. This really is. I'm still going. I'm still going, though. I'm still going. I ain't mad. Slash would be very invaluable in this dungeon, but, you know, it's kind of hard to do that with a hand. Yeah. That, you see, that's probably another issue. The health. Not being... Not like, you know, giving a heart container at the end of every dungeon is kind of making it so that way it kind of maybe limits the player a little. I don't know. I'm rambling on, to be quite honest.
Oh, really? I just want to kill them all. Come on, come this way. Dying, thank you. Oh, wait, what? Yes, that was me just face palming. That was me just face palming. I was just silent during all that time. Uh, oops. I guess I was just trying to concentrate a little. Wow, I was like silent for ne nearly two whole minutes there. That must have been pretty boring. Uh, regardless, at least it got me somewhere. Maybe the Let's Play curse does exist. Hmm, now I'm actually a little curious if something's actually in here or not. not seem to be. Where am I gonna put this key, though? I bet you I need to put it up there. There. Never did check what's up there. I'm saying up there a lot. This is what happens when I get a little flustered when I play. I normally try not to get angry while playing video games, but if a game gives me reason enough to do it, then I will. Come here, you. There's a locked door. Jeez, how big is this place?
wait a minute. This place is a dead end without the boss key. Unless... Nah, I didn't think so. The game's being a little bit generous with the hearts now. Couldn't have done that earlier game. Really? None of it open? Then which way am I supposed to go? Side when you have to use a potion against normal enemies, though. Just here. And just when I'm about to die, the game gives me a freebie. Okay, what the freaking hell? I am seriously going in circles here. I have absolutely no idea where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, I did go down. There is a key in here. Okay, yeah, there was that key. <laughs> How could I have been so stupid? I would... Yeah, that's right. I died in here. That's why I kind of forgot. Erase the bad memories and all that. Alright. Let's keep going. 
going, I guess. I'm down here. Good, I don't have to fight anything in here again, at least. Alright, let's see what's this way. Another locked door. Swell. Like I said, as soon as the game, as soon as I'm about to die, the game gives me a freebie. I am very, I am playing very, very reckless here. Of course, it doesn't help that I can't really help on that matter. What? Screw it. Just, 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 uh, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I think I'm honestly just going to stop here for right now. I, I need a moment. Would you please, would y'all please excuse me a sec? I, I, I just need a moment. 37 deaths. Ugh.